Chef Pam, welcome to my kitchen. Today we're working on a ham from Jeremy Boswell's farm in Georgetown, Ohio. And as you can see, his hams are much prettier than the hams that you buy in the supermarket. Notice the very rich, dark red color and lots of great marbling throughout it. This is a very simple preparation. All we're going to do is cut off a little bit of the fat. You want some of the fat to remain on the ham because fat is flavor. But we don't need all of this fat, so I like to trim a little bit of this off, about like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off all of this here, this outer part, but I just want to take this nice layer off here. I'm going to add some dry mustard, which I have here, some dry mustard, a little bit of um, brown cloves, and some cracked pepper. I'm just going to mix this together and put this right over top of the outside of the ham. Just sprinkle it on generously and rub that in. And then all we're going to do is wrap this in foil, put it in a roasting pan, and it goes right into the oven. I have my oven preheated at 325 degrees, and we will cook this ham. Because this ham has been smoked, we only need to cook it to 145 degrees internally. So I take foil, I put the two shiny sides together, I fold it like this, and now I have one large piece of foil. right inside the pan. And again, I'm going to make sure that this all gets sealed up really well. So for this eight pound ham, you basically want to cook it 20 to 22 minutes per pound. So that will equate to about two and a half to three hours. And again, you'll want to probe that at 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Into the oven it goes. And I like to use the dark brown sugar for this. It has a little more molasses in it, a little more flavor. Some cloves, which are brown. And just for a little extra kick, some apricot jam. And then all we're going to do with this is cook it long enough that the brown sugar and the jam have dissolved. And this will be what we will base over our ham at the end of the cooking procedure. Okay, so the ham's been in the oven for a little over two hours. Let's take it out and check the temperature. We want to make sure that it reaches 145 degrees without touching the bone. So once again, I'm going to use my favorite thermometer from, it's called a Thermapen from Thermaworks. You can go to www.cookingwithchefpam.com and I will have a link to the website where you can purchase it. So now we're going to add our glaze. This is the glaze that we made earlier. Let it fall down all around it. Doesn't that look beautiful already? Yum. And then we're going to put it right into that 425 degree oven for 15 minutes. All right. Thanks for watching. Jeremy Boswell's meat came from his beautiful Emmett Ridge farm. You can go to cookingwithchefpam.com for all of the details.